Hello, welcome back to Nick's Allotment. It's Sunday the 26th of February. I hope Storm Doris Day didn't give you any stick. Do too much damage for you. It's had a few little poly, the poly tunnels, like the green ones, like the plastic square things. Um, what was it done on my plot? It blew one of my little plastic cloches away. Uh, I've retrieved that, it busted it. But, so, but today I'm going to be planting a few potatoes in pots and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Right, in this pot I've put a good fork full of cow manure and a fork full of the black community compost, like you get it, your green bin waste. I know some people don't really like it because they don't know what's been put in it. It's a good soil conditioner as well. So I've mixed that in the bottom. Then I've got this. It's my leaf mulch. I'm just going to mix some of this in. And then I've got my spent carrot compost here. I'm just going to mix a bit, mix a bit of anything in. And then I've got, and then I've got some uh, bit of Jack's magic. I'm going to mix in with it. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oh. I hope the potatoes I bought from the potato festival, these are uh, rate, but they're the little tiny ones, so I thought, well, I'm not going to plant them outside, so I'm going to probably put about four of these to each pot. They ain't very big. Be nice from early. And then I've got a few sharp charlottes out of my own. And I'll put probably three in each pot with those. I just want to get some early potatoes. So here we go. Right, just put a bit of the carrot compost. There's bits of carrot roots in it, but not matter. I'll put some of this leaf mulch, lovely stuff this is. Never made it before. Making cracking. Got some of that. Bit of Jack's magic. Stir it all up. And then I'll put some of this organic potato pellets, or veggie pellets, or what you want to call them, potato fertilizer. I'm just going to put a on the top, or a big bit, stir that in, right so I'm going to put four in it, I've just got the little chips coming, if you can see that, Four in there. Hopefully, have some nice early potatoes. Put a bit more of the leaf mulch on the top. Right, there we go. I just remember I'm going to got to bring my labels down, but I'll move one lot one side. Right, I'll crack on with the rest and I'll get there back There we go. There's four in each pot, so I've got four Charlotte down for each pot. Uh, so there we go. I've just put, covered it with leaf mould. The only thing I forgot to put in was blood fishing bone, but I might sprinkle that on the top. I'll do that next day too. And I'm just going to put this bit of fleece on in case we have a frost. Water in the next 
сторон. Let's keep it warm. And also, I don't know if the potatoes taste as good as out to the pots as they do out the ground. And yeah, so there we go. And also, I've got to put my rubber gloves on, and that'll take some getting out me <laughs> in my hands. It uh, that's a community compost that makes it go really black. So there we go. I have to do plenty of washing up to get my hands clean now. Right, I've had, had a bit of bad news in the coal frame. I'll show you what's happened. I've there. just come down, got to in my coal frame, just check my cauliflowers. I've had some little visitors. Look, I had this happen last year in the greenhouse. The moisture come in and bit the tops off. Let's look under here. Look. They've stored them all under there. So I'll put them a nice little present. And hopefully the little nippers will do the stuff. But I just make sure I keep the the frame done as so I catch the birds if they come up, come in. So I think I've got about ten I would have thought. Might be Right, I've moved my staging out the other greenhouse into this one. Nearly ready for all getting my seeds in. I've not quite finished bubble wrapping. Just got to put a piece over the top. But, and then fix the ends. So, these are my broad beans. I will just start pipping through this week. That's a couple of days. I'll do a proper update next week on all my plot. These are my leeks. I don't know how long they've been in, it's a few weeks now. But uh, there is the odd one showing. I thought I'd put them upside down to start with because they weren't coming through. Now I've got to plant my sweet peas. I've had these soaking in water for 24 hours. And, uh, and then I let them. I drain the water off and just let them chit and I'll just show you what they're like. I see somebody else do this on the allotment so I thought oh, I'll try that. There they are, if you can see. Nice little chits coming on them. That one ain't. I think it was going in a rubbish bag. Right, so I've got them in uh, root trainers. And I should probably do half the tray of one sort and half a tray of the other. I'll show you what they are in a minute. Right, so I just I put Jack's magic in here and I'll made little holes in, drop drop them in and I should just cover them back up with soil. So I'll go do half of them with these. Worst thing about having rubber gloves on, they stick stick to the glove being damp. I only have these on because of Jack's magic, it sends my hands black. I think it's uh, like community compost that's put in it. seed in each cell and then over here, I don't know if you can see it, I've planted quite a lot of others but I'll show you to film it but I'll just put these in here and then I'll have just a mixture of everything in there. I should probably end up giving half these away. <laughs> so I'll do, do the same in the other half and then I'll show you what else I do then. Right, I'm going to sieve a bit more soil just over the top, I'll just turn the tray around. Decided to invest in a nice little sieve. I think I might have put a bit much in there, but never mind. That's 
covered all the holes now, so I'm guessing that's right. I don't know which way I've turned to try. Right, there we go. I don't know if you can see the varieties. One's king size blue and the other one's nimbus. I think that's how you spell it. Me and writing don't get on. Put them in a water bath. Do you want to see the water coming up on the top? I'll just show you on that. There we go. These are the other ones I've done. So I've just got a water tray in here and I'm just going to let them soak up. I'll show you when I might even water them from the top as well. Some of them could do a bit more soil in, I think. Right, here's my onions, put them in this propagator now, don't look too bad, seems they were all growing on the top. I'll be doing another little experiment because I've got more onion seeds to plant, so I'm going to put some covered with soil and some with vermiculite, and I think the reason I hadn't they rooted on the top though it's too dry underneath. So we'll find out. Bits of vermiculite. And this onion exhibition, these are growing in I think this they're growing in John Innis number two. And these are in I think they're in Jack's Jack's Magic. Just put them in that. See how they go. I had some cheap bags there, uh, John Innes from Countrywise. I think it was £2.50 a bag, so I thought I'd just try a few. Got some seed compost as well. See, Sean always uses the old, or he was last year using John Innes. Sorry about the shaking. There we go. That's another one I've done earlier. Once they start coming up, I'll take them down the allotment. Or if I get stuck for room. I have started clearing up in here. Can't tell much. <laughs> I just need to get rid of this stuff. I've cleaned all up under the benches. I suppose I might be fine. Look, all those point fittings. And I end up going to a shop and buying more. Right. Get back to you in a bit. Right, there we are. I'll just give them a bit of water on the top. This one here is just all me mixed mix seeds. Some of them have got two in. So what I do, I'll, I'll put this back on the top. I've got to make some room over here. Can't get four in a tray. And then put them for some nice watering cans. I bought these up. I like farm sales, I think there's about a fiver each. The only thing you've got to watch, this one's got quite a bit of rust in the bottom. So tip if you ever see them, just check the bottom. Make sure they ain't corroded through. Because some of them look like new on the outside on the outside. But then they're pretty rotten inside. I don't know how old this one is. Somebody said when I bought it at the sale. I got one, it's very old. I don't think it's even got a name. Oh, it has six points. The good old days, it was in points then. Eh? <laughs> right, these are some of the other ones I've put in. I've got all these seeds, they were at 50p a packet. Don't know if you can see. I thought I've got to get old Percy. He's 
It's got a pinky purple blush to it. Mr. Titmarsh. Ripple mix. We've got the other packets down the house. Right, I'm going to have a go so. plant some more onion seeds. Um, sorry if me, I'm recording this on my phone, it might be a bit shaky. Right, last time I planted onions, I got trouble with the roots coming up on the top. I had a few suggestions of other people what it was, but I think it was because the compost was too dry underneath. So, this tray here, I'm going to plant these, Stuttgarter, these were from Lidl, I think that was about 30p a packet, so I thought, give them a go. So I'm going to half cover it with compost and half cover it with vermiculite, see if it makes any difference. So I'll just put this, the seed on. I'll put the old packet in because the price of it. You always find somebody else that wants a few seed, seed or seedlings. There we go. And then the other ones are Red Baron. And I should cover these just with compost. About quarter to six at night this is, uh, the light's coming on my phone. There we go. Right, I'll get some vermiculite and I'll come back. Right, I've roughly done half the tray. There's a vermiculite. And then the other half will be with compost. So I invested in a little sieve. Uh, right, here's my little sieve. That's a nice little job that does. Using Leventon's F2 Plus S. Right, I'm just going to stand these in the water tray. I'll water them from the bottom, and when I see it coming up, or when it's getting damp on the top, I'll put them in the propagator. Right, there we go, folks. Even remember to label them. And in the water tray, probably just need a few more minutes. You can just see little damp patches coming up in it. Well, I don't know if you can pick it up on here. Right, I've been planting some other stuff. I've been chitting it. Oh. Some carnation cuttings. I bought Sarah some flowers from Morrison's and get a lot of cuttings off them. Nice colours. She's having a go at that. So I've been uh, put these in for chitting like I did last year. Take the top off to show you what I've been doing. These are chilies. So wet the kitchen towel there's two different sorts in there so I just wait, wait for a few days however long it takes them to chit and then I'll just pot them up I 
might put them into some Jiffy 7s because I've got some what I bought in that sale just so I'll use them up. Right, these are lettuce iceberg. Sweet peppers, California. Why well, Tommy reading? So I can't read very well. <laughs> oh, Prairie Fire and Joe's Long. More chilies. These are lettuce, little gem, and ultimate mix. And I put a few cabbage and a few cauliflowers in. Seems a Mice of et or mine, little buggers. Right, there we go, folks. I see I've got 500 subscribers now. Thank you all for subscribing. Right, so we'll catch you next time. I'll do a update on my allotment next time so you can see what I've done or what I end. Radio, folks, ta da!